Hi everyone, my name is Spiker Helms and welcome to another edition of Tiger TV. On this episode, we interview Coach Thompson of Missouri State. We talk about his coaching experience with the number one and number two home run leaders of the NCAA in 2016. Also, we talk about his expectations when he's recruiting and what is expected out of the new recruits when they reach on campus. Moving forward into the future weeks, we are going to be interviewing SAU Carbondale, Drury University, and Matt Slater of the St. Louis Cardinals talking about player development on the professional end. So with that said, let's start with the new episode. Hi, Baseball Nation. This is Spiker Holmes, where I interview the best in the business, where I try to find out what got them to the top. This is their journey, their stories, and our questions. This is Tiger TV. Welcome back to another edition of Tiger TV. I'm here at Missouri State University with Coach Nathan Thompson, assistant coach, recruiting coordinator. Thompson went from, he was a player at Dallas Baptist University, then became um, a student assistant, then from there went to Nebraska, from there went to Hutchinson Community College as an assistant coach, and then now he's here at Missouri State. And in his first year in 2015, they went to a super regional and it was a top recruiting class for that year. So with that said, I'd like to welcome Coach to the show. Hey, thanks for having me, yeah. Any Anything that I missed on that intro? Anything that you you want to add in? Or did I, did I nail it? Uh, you nailed it, right? All right, perfect. Back, All right, good. We're good to go. Um, so with Jake, Jake Berger, let's talk a little bit about him. Um, obviously, every, it seems like anyone and everyone is interested in what he's doing because you guys not only had the number one home run hit like leader in the NCAA, you had the number two in Spencer Johnson. So let's talk about Jake Berger. Like, what is different about him? He's like on a whole other planet when it comes to mid-major level and just hitting all these home runs. Jake's a guy who kind of represents the total package from a uh, what you're looking for in a recruit and a player standpoint. Like, he's a dream to coach. He's obviously very talented, has a ton of bat speed, ton of strength. You know, runs well for a big man, has a great arm, could catch everything, won a Golden Glove nationally last year. Mm -hmm. um, and, but he's, the, he's a great character guy. And the other piece is he's a great student. I mean, this guy is a, just a tremendous human being and a leader. Yeah, and he'll, and he'll come into our facility in the winter and work out, and you'll see him around. It just seems like he just has this passion by him. It's just like, I want to go out there and just play. Like I'm, I'm, I don't want to be in the snow. I want to be no somewhere. Doubt. Like if you, if you could go play winter ball, he'd play winter ball. Absolutely. No, so. he, he loves to play. He's a tremendous competitor. Uh, really does a great job of slowing the game down and just having fun, playing with joy. Yeah. So it's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun to have him in this program, and, and I'm always looking for the next guy like that. Yeah, and you have you have that guy that's right there, and then you're you're looking at these high school athletes, and. Um, in previous shows, we've talked about the athletic ability, but if you could touch on the academic side of things, like what is it that you're looking for in a student athlete? When you say, "Hey, here's the papers. We want you to come. We want you to be a part of the Missouri State family." Like, what is it that you're looking for academically in a player? Academically, it always helps if the guy's really taking care of business in the classroom. Uh, if we can give them academic money, that helps us. Mm -hmm. It takes it, it, it helps the student gives them more money in their pocket, makes school cheaper. I mean, college baseball is not a full full ride sport, obviously. No. You know, 11.7 out of 27 guys. And so uh, anytime we can get a guy on some academic money, at least it helps them. Uh, it probably helps us. And the other piece for me is I like what I call low maintenance players. Yeah. Guys who I don't have to worry about whether they're gonna take care of business in the classroom. Mm -hmm. If they're going to show up and to get their study hall hours done, if they're going to, uh, you know, be taking care of business off the field, low maintenance guys. Yeah. I don't want to have to be laying in bed awake at night, yeah. hoping <laughs> everything's going to be okay. Holding their hand in class. Are we going to? Yeah. <laughs> don't want to have to walk them to class. Don't want to have to uh, wonder if they're going to be eligible. Yeah. Because, you know, we put a lot of work into this thing, and it, it means a lot to us. And. and uh, we want to mean a lot to them too, and so. Now, if you were, if you kind of went, took yourself back into your playing days, and you're 15 years old again, how would you approach the recruiting process? The biggest thing I would say is 
just breathe <laughs> a little bit and, and go be a, and go really be a player and work on your skills. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of young guys nowadays get caught up in trying to promote themselves all the time and your talent will take you where it needs to go mm-hmm. as long and, and you just got to continue to put skill sets under your belt and, and do the right thing you know like you're talking academically make yourself more attractive to a program by having great grades yeah that can be a difference maker at the junior co- when I was coaching at the junior college level I would always tell my guys you've got to find every way to separate yourself from somebody else because if it comes right down to it, I'll take a 4.0 guy over a 2.5 guy if everything else is comparable mm-hmm. every single time. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, but I think a lot of kids nowadays, they get wrapped up in trying to, trying to make themselves look good yeah. instead of just be good. Yeah. Um, you can't circumvent the process. Mm-hmm. If, if, if you can really play, it's all gonna be okay. I I, <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean to make it sound like that, but yeah. it's true. Like guys who take care of business and, and add a skill set, you know. I think I think for a young player, strength's got to be really important. Yeah, you've got to work hard in the weight room. Uh, especially, you know, I'm working with hitters, and I know, hey, if if, if the stronger you are, probably the better you are. Now, with with the hitting side of things, like because you guys you guys jumped up in batting average. Like looking back at the stats, and obviously the home runs are a big one because everyone likes to talk about home runs. Right. Like so, with the philosophy side of things, do you guys do a lot of video, or is it just like net, like just going nose to the grindstone? Let's get after it. Let's get in the cage. Let's work on our stuff. Um, be very purposeful in our actions, or is it or is it kind of meshing the old school and new school together? I'd say it's pretty. It's just a comprehensive kind of holistic approach. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we're going to work on the swing mechanic, definitely. But if it's not broke, I'm not going to fix it either. Mm-hmm. Um, not going to recruit guys that I think I really need to fix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so we're going to work on the mechanic. We're going to work on the mental approach, though, probably more than anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, finding a team concept and an individual concept that works for each guy. Well, and it's different because in the Missouri, you, you're going to play Missouri Valley teams are completely different than Big Twelve teams or SEC teams. They're going to have more power arms from the SEC, mm-hmm. and then you're going to have guys in the Missouri Valley that are more pitch savvy. Like it, I'm sure that the philosophy side of things has to be huge. It has to be mental side it has to be huge. Big piece is uh, knowing yourself yeah. and being able to exploit who you are. You know, um, Spencer Johnson led the country in home runs last year. Had 24. I didn't want him to play small. Okay, <laughs> his job was to get his three best swings off. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, you know, Hunter Steinmetz on the other hand last year, who was our leadoff hitter in every game of the season. Mm-hmm. You know, that's not him. Yeah. He's he needs to be hitting line drives and, and getting on base and using that speed tool. So just understanding who you are, uh, the mental approach and the mental toughness side of things is really important as well. Just learning how to be present, be focused focus on this pitch, win this pitch, and uh, you know, that's something that that uh, all players can definitely benefit from. Yeah. And going on that point, if you could recommend one thing to a uh, youth player, high school player, or coach on hitting, how, what, what would be the recommendation? I think the, well, I, I guess it just goes back to mental approach. Yeah. I know for myself as a young player, I was always worried about mechanics. Did my swing look right? Um, Sitting on that cell phone, just going back and forth right. with that. Doing, doing, <laughs> doing, you know, yeah. doing a, you know, analysis until I was paralyzed. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, it wasn't necessarily about that. Like, I had a good swing. Mm. I just didn't know what I was trying to do all the time. Yeah. And I think knowing who you are and having a concept of you know, what this pitcher's trying to do and what the situation demands, and being committed to it fully, yeah. and knowing what success is. Yeah. Uh, you know, define success for yourself. Is it is it getting a hit, or is it putting your best swing on the ball mm-hmm. and having quality at bat and just being a competitor? Uh, I guess those are the biggest things for me is focusing on 
just know, the mental just know approach, you. No, yeah, the mental approach, and I think having mental toughness really too, knowing how to control your emotions. Uh, I think those are the two biggest factors. Um, you know, the swing the mechanics are important, but those go right hand in hand. And the higher level you get to, the more they matter. Yeah. All right, Coach. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Yeah. Guys, it's all about self-awareness, um, knowing who you are as a player, being able to capitalize on um, at-bats by having a planned approach, and with the recruiting process, too. Be self-aware. Know who you are, and then um, execute. Ideas are, ideas are great, but execution is everything. So um, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching. You can follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. So we'd love to hear from you, and we will talk with you soon. See ya.